Hello everyone. Today we are going to use Flutter and learn how to automatically refresh an access token once it expires. In this tutorial, I'm assuming that you are using a REST API and that we are getting a refresh token and an access token on login and then whenever the server responds with a 401 request, we are going to then refresh that access token. Let's dive in. To get started, we're going to create a base Flutter project. We can name it Refresh Token Tutorial. With that created, we can now navigate to our lib folder and we'll create a new directory called Core and then we'll create another directory called Services. And inside of that, we'll add our API.dart file. Before we begin coding, first we have to understand what will be happening with our HTTP request. For every request we make, we want to first add our authorization header with our access token. Then, after the request comes back, we want to check if the status code is a 401 with a message of invalid JWT. Your message after JWT failure will be different depending on your server, but for our example, this is what we will use. If the request has that 401 status code, then we must call the server's refresh endpoint and store the new access token. Then using that access token, we can then use the API client and retry the request. To help us accomplish this, we are going to use the Dio package so we can run in the terminal flutter pub add Dio. Back in our api.dart file, create a class named API. Depending on your state management solution, this could be a service, provider, whatever you want. I use RiverPod, so this will just be a class that I can make to a provider later on. This class will have three variables. First, the Dio object called API, then the access token string, and finally, we need a way to store a refresh token so it'll be saved when the user closes the app. To do this securely, we can use Flutter Secure Storage. So run Flutter Pub Add Flutter Secure Storage. With that installed, then our final variable in the class will be a private variable storage, and it'll be set to the Flutter Secure Storage constructor. The constructor of this class is where we can add our interceptors and to add the authorization header and refresh our token. So we'll call our api.interceptors.add to add an interceptors wrapper. To add an access token, we'll add a function under the onRequest parameter, and we will set our authorization header for the request. Another useful feature is to add the URL of our server, so we can check if the options.path contains HTTP, and if it doesn't, then we can set our path to the URL of our server plus the existing path. Then to run the rest of the request, we can return handler.next and pass in our new options. With that out of the way, now we can work on refreshing our access token. To do this, we're going to add a function under the onAir parameter that takes an air and handler. Inside of this function, we're going to first check if the air response status code is equal to 401. And also, we're going to check if the response data and then the message object of that response is equal to invalid JWT. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this can depend on your server, but for our example, this is the values we will use. Inside of this if statement, that means that our JWT access token has expired. So we will first check and see if our storage contains the key refresh token. If it does, that means that we can use that refresh token to get a new access token. So we're going to create another function called refresh token, and it will return a future void. Inside of this function, we're going to read our refresh token using our Flutter Secure Storage. And we will call our server's refresh endpoint and pass in that refresh token as the data. Once the request has run, we can check if the status code is equal to 201. And if so, we can set our access token to the response.data. If the response.status code is not equal to 201, then that means that our refresh token is invalid. So we can set access token to null and we'll call storage.delete all. With that function in place, then we can go back to our interceptor and call the refresh token function. At this point, the access token is set, so now we need to retry the request. And unfortunately, Dio doesn't add an easy way to retry the request, so we're gonna need to create a new function called retry. Retry will return a future of responsive dynamic, and it will take in request options. Inside of this function, we are simply just retrying or running the request again. So we're going to create a copy of the request options, and then we'll run that inside of our API client. Now back in our interceptor, we can return the handler.resolve, and we'll await our retry, passing in our air.request options. 
Now at the very bottom of on air, we have to return handler.next error in the event that the status code is not equal to 401 and it's just a general error. That wraps up our API class. In order to use this class in your project, you're going to need some sort of state management solution. I use Riverpod, so you can import Riverpod, and then we can create our API provider at the very top of our main.dart file, and we'll set it to provider wrapped inside of our API class. On any other providers that you would want, you could use the ref object passed in with provider and read our API class. That concludes this video, and if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe, as I'll be posting more videos like this in the future.